Hey guys, it's Rishi once again, and today we're back with another video focused on missing words. So what are missing words and how do we attempt these questions? Well, the missing word is part of a bigger word. And the question is, can you find it? So with this type of question, you're given a sentence in which one word is written in capitals and the word has three consecutive letters that are removed. And these three letters form a separate three letter word. And this word, when inserted into the capitalized word in the sentence, without changing the order of the letters, will form a correctly spelled word. Now remember, the sentence must make sense. So firstly, read the sentence to get an idea of the context of the sentence. And this should give you a clue as to the meaning of the capitalized word. And some children find that covering the capitalized word with their fingers helps to understand the context of that missing word. And once you have the context, think of different words with the same meaning and see if they match the letters of the capitalized word. I cannot stress enough how important this is. If we're going to do something, let's do it properly. And for those sitting the exam, the answer sheet is multiple choice, so it will just be a case of trying all the possible answers to see which one of the word fits. But in today's video, I'm going to remove the multiple choice answers just to make it a little bit more interesting. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and dive into this right away. So let's take a look. So let's take a look at the first example. The children gated in the hall. So we've got three letters that are missing from this. So what could it potentially be? So let's take a look at the context. The children and the hall. And it looks as if there must be a group of children in the hall. So now that we know the context, the word we're looking for is gathered. So if we spell gathered out, we can see here that we're missing the letters H-E-R. And there we are. That is our answer. So by putting her back into gated, we can make the word gathered and none of the other choices make sense. So once again, find the context and then find the letters that make sense. Amazing. Let's dive into this right away and let's start off with question number one. The D-Day landings could never have taken place without the parasists. Hmm. So D-Day landings. So again, that was in the war um, and we have something that starts with para. And what comes to mind is parachutes. So it could perhaps be parachutists. So if we take a look at this word, so the three letters that are missing from parachutists are hut, and that's H-U-T. Once again, this will also improve your spellings and your vocabulary. So don't forget to note down these words and also apply them in sentences. Okay, let's go for number two. Our local election had no less than nine something, right? So we know when we're having an election, we have candidates. So again, let's take a look at the context. It's an election. We have people that stand for an election and they are known as candidates. So again, the three letter word would be did. And a candidate is what we call someone who stands for election. Okay, let's go for question number three. When he sets his mind to something, he really does it wholly, wholeheedly. Okay. So if you do something ah, wholeheartedly, to do something wholeheartedly means to be fully committed to it. So let's put the letter art in this word. And we can make the word wholeheartedly. And remember, that's to be fully committed. Okay, let's go for question number four. The dog just lay there, gling menacingly. Hmm. Let's think about this. 
So we've got our context, a dog is lying there and he's looking quite menacing. So if we take a look at this, I'm gonna go with the three letter word row, and that's going to make the word growling. So again, that's just after the G and before the L. Remember, we are not changing the order of these words at all. Likewise for wholeheartedly, I put the art just after the first E and before the last E. And I hope that was clear. That was a quick introduction to your missing words. Let's now hand it over to yourselves. Go ahead and pause the video, attempt this question, and then press play when you're ready to go. Alrighty, let's begin. So he ate as much of the apple as he could and this, the rest of it. So he's eating the apple now, that's the context. And it looks as if he's thrown it away, or in this case, discarded it. So to, to discard something means to throw it away or to dispose of it. So we're gonna go for the three letter word, which is just after S, and that's going to be car. Okay, question six. What's her profession? She's a mammatician. Ooh. So let's go for the last part of this word, titian. Now, as you can see, this should have got your brain ticking a little. And all what it is, is the word the. And that's going to be just after the first A, which stands for mathematician. Okay, let's go for number seven. Passing exams is always a great something month. And again, as you may have noticed already, and I hope this is coming to you as you're reading the sentence, the correct answer is Eve. And so by putting Eve back into the capitalized word, we can make the word achievement. And we hope the practice that you get through these videos will help you towards achievement. So as I've said, take the word, apply it to a sentence, and that way it's not only gonna help you with the spellings, but also the meanings. Okay, we're almost towards the end now. Question eight. Her cousins lived on the out of London. So again, I'm gonna directly put ski into this, just after the first T, and that's outskirts of London. We've got Eve and ski. Okay, question number nine. His descants had originally come from India. So again, this reminds me of the word descendants. So again, we will go ahead and add in the E-N-D, and that'll be just after the first C, and there we are. And then finally, for the last sentence, the charity appeal was to help children in poor countries who were suffering from mal... Ooh, I hope this one is clicked as well, malnutrition. And once again, we're going to be putting the word nut just after the first L. Remember, malnutrition occurs when someone's diet is lacking the nutrients that they need to be healthy. Marvelous work. So what have we noticed here? Well, the first thing that you should have noticed is that all of these three words that we've found are actual words. And not only that, when they've inserted into the capitalized word in the sentence, we haven't changed the order of the letters and they have given us a correctly spelled word. And as you may have noticed, the more you attempted the questions, the more they ticked a little in your brain, giving you an insight into what the answer could be. And with that, that brings us to the end of our video. You've done amazingly well, so keep up the practice and don't forget to share and comment below on your feedback. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at any given time. My contact details are at the end of this video. So keep up the great work and I'll see you in the next video.